Here we go then for the grid for Mini Max Heat number three, race number 20 on your schedule. Sasha Bagley has pole position alongside Emily Ackett's Woody Radford and Casey Jones on row number two, Daniel Amor and Oliver Smith on row number three. Oliver Sander and Kieran Denyer are on row four, Lena Summers Kelly and Callum Gosh on row number 10, Edward Rose and Damien Barris Haggett are on row number six. Uh, Mac McFarquhar and Harry Higgs go from row number seven in this one. Ronnie Coburn and George Barker are on row number eight. Uh, Michael Dalton and William Ray are on row number nine. Harrison Morrow and Josh Cook are on row ten. And last but not least, Charlie Dumoncos and George Ivanov wrap out the 22 card field. Give your comments coming in. Hello to uh, Naomi Cook, who's cheering on Josh Cook for the upcoming event. And still got plenty of more racing here today. There's your forecast, uh, which is pretty much unchanged across the course of the day. It's still quite cool here. Brisk wind, uh, northeasterly wind, but no rain, no precipitation. Pretty much as good conditions for karting as you could wish for at this time of year. Pretty cool, of course, which is good for the engine. The, uh, the air is quite, of course, condensed, which is good. It gives you a slightly better power output. And the tyres, of course, not looking too hard. Quite uh, not difficult at all to keep them in their optimum operating temperature. We're going to head round now the formation lap. You can see Sasha Bagley will be our pole sitter for this uh, third and final heat for the Minimax class, uh, who are of course using the Rotax engine as our junior Rotax and senior Rotax, of course. As you can see, somebody there cutting across. Do they have mechanical failure or are they just cutting across the track to rejoin for their good grid spot? And a good day so far for uh, Sasha Bagley. Two top tens so far. Good chance here. Uh, to improve on those results so it will be the number 61 from the 15 or at least that's what it should be eyes on the union flag there it is the race begins for eight minutes plus one lap good start for Bagley into oblivion will lead as they head up to Christmas corner green flags all around the circuit that start has been called good here comes the 28 though of Oliver Smith down the inside Oliver Smith leads coming out of Christmas corner had some good speed there. The number 39 of Oliver Sander is trying to get involved as well. Down into Ashby Corner. Looks like they're all running, uh, even though we've got a couple towards the back of the field, uh, all the off the main pack. I believe that's William Rea at the uh, at the back of the field. There was a there was a spin uh, at the start of the race. A little bit of contact there. I think a, lot, a couple of drivers got caught out, and I'm afraid it's William Rea who got caught out, who has been one of our pace setters for. The previous day's running, but it is um, the 28 leading the way, which is called the Smith there, as you can see all the drivers being the route of the boot. Uh, boot. Uh, yep, Oliver Smith is leading, of course, as he uh, has negotiated a very good first opening lap and is now trying to stretch away. George Bark has a mechanical flag. Is it 41? Is he going to... No, not quite. Try to take two moves. One will be enough. I think he's got... Six minutes, more than six minutes remaining, and there's plenty of time to gain positions. As we see now, uh, that's Michael Dalton, I think, defending his position. So, Oliver Smith, still your leader there. We've got the 39 of Oliver Sander and the and Sasha Bagley, which whom who was on uh, pole position, of course, is now down to P3. Yeah, that's uh, a pretty good start from all of those drivers, keeping themselves at the front end of the field. Here comes Callum Gosh down the inside of. Sasha Bagley, that's for fourth place. And looks like Damien Barris Haggard has got through as well. He's now up to fifth place. Emily Ackett's still there in seventh place. Down the inside, here comes Daniel Amor. I'm really liking the stuff I'm seeing from Daniel today. Very decisive with his overtaking as, oh, now, uh, that's, uh, that's the 44, and that's missing something quite significant on the rear right. That is... Uh, Dalton, yeah, right. Michael Dalton, who was in 12th place. Well, there's what's missing. The right rear wheel. I think that's been a stub axle failure. Just wonder, has that uh, been a stub axle that's just caught on the kerb on the inside 
of the crook. It's quite sharp and it can do some damage. We have to see from our angle, it did look, it was actually just the, uh, uh, the stub axle with the wheel came off, not an actual axle uh, breakage as it was, mm -hmm. or, um, or else that would have been quite more significant. But to me, that looked like, quite frankly, it just came off the, um, it's of course a left-hand side curb there, and it was the right-hand side wheel that came off, and the drivers don't normally take any right side. Oh, that's the 88 out, and clearly not pleased, a little bit in distress there, the uh, 88 there, has not, uh, 98, my apologies, of Charlie Domacos, who has not uh, not made it round uh, for the third lap. No, hasn't. Has, oh, there's a problem there. Is that for the 39 of Oliver Sander? And there's another driver off as well. Let's try and catch you. Those were in a few moments' time. That was coming on to the back straight. That something was going on there. Uh, William Ray's gained a lot of positions on the last lap. You don't often see a driver gain six positions on a lap that isn't the first. Uh, but he has done so on that last tour of the circuit. So Oliver Smith leads, Daniel Amor second. There they are. Uh, Dan, uh, Damien Barris Haggett in third. Sasha Bagley is up to fourth place now. So yeah, so Oliver Sander has fallen a little bit down the order. Harry Higgs in fifth. Might have been Callum Gosh who was having some trouble out there as well. Four and a bit minutes on the clock to go. Here is the battle for second place, and that's a change for second place. Damien Barris Haggett has got through there in the sky blue and yellow coloured cart into second place ahead of Daniel Amor. Obviously, it is a battle between who will be taking uh, pole position for today's final. It is between uh, the 27 Damien Barris Haggett and between William Rare. William Rare, Damien 10th position after that altercation at the start, had a bit of a trouble on the on that first lap, but as we can see there, the, uh, the 27 being pursued by the 41, the Daniel Amor. We'll see if he can uh, if he can try and keep up with Damien uh, across these next couple of laps, but I think uh, the 27 will be going for the win. Uh, just cutting down to our novices. Josh Cook is currently the top novice. We've already lost uh, one of them, unfortunately, in Charlie Demoncross, but uh, Josh Cook leading ahead of George Ivanov. And uh, quite a big gap, actually, between those two drivers. I think even though had some uh, problems in this race because he's some 18 seconds behind Josh Cook at this stage. Three seconds, uh, three minutes, rather, to go. And here we're having a brief look at the number 28. Uh, he's your leader, of course, Oliver Smith. But Damien Barris Haggard has just set the fastest lap of the race at 47.91. Three tenths of a second quicker than the leader. And uh, Damien Barris Haggett also seems to me to be pulling Damien, uh, Daniel Amor along with him. Down the inside, there is uh, the number 76, I think it is. I'm reading that correctly. Yes, it is. That was a good o overtake down into uh, Ashby Hairpin by Casey Jones. Still got Oliver Smith leading, but Damien uh, Barris Haggett is closing that gap down, trying to uh, attempt to take the lead when he finally does catch up. Still got two minutes left on the clock. A lot can change. As actually, there's a little bit of damage on that 27 the car. The, uh, mm. front, uh, the NASA panel has been slightly disarranged. Uh, hopefully it's no greater damage than that, as you can see on, as they come through there. Through Christmas, absolutely on the edge of adhesion. The 14 Lone Ray trying to mount his comeback. Oh, gets chopped across there by one of the attack mode sport carts, I believe. There we have the 45 there, Harry Higgs. Uh, doing quite a good job there in P6. Indeed. Uh, William Ray started to come back through the order. So we'll keep an eye out for the number one four, the 14. All white right there. The remainder of this race. Cross start finish, Higgs confirmed in fifth place now, ahead of Bagley, back with the leaders. Uh, dealing with a bit of traffic now as well. As here comes William Ray. Well, William Ray was going for a double overtake there into Christmas Corner. And I think he pulled it off. That's a remarkable overtake from William Ray. He's got him up to sixth place. Yep. Well, you've uh, don't see that move quite often, but it has been done in the past, and it is possible for so good driving from William Ray to make that particular attempt stick. So there we have the 27 he has now caught up to the 28. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll see a good battle till the end. Possibly those 
numbers will become consecutive and we'll see 27 and 28. However, we'll see how Damien Barris Haggard will come across. He's looking to the inside and good move, pulled out plenty of space given to the 28 of Oliver Smith and he is through into the lead. Indeed. Not long in this one to go. Can uh, Oliver Smith at his top three make it some good points? There's Callum Gosh just going past one of the back markers. That's George Ivanov. Good uh, observing of the blue flags there by George. Time is up then for our leaders. So Damien Barris Haggett confirmed as your leader over the line. Oliver Smith second, but still looking another good result here. Daniel Amor in third. And uh, in fact, those three are a good way clear of Callum Gosh, so it really should be a top three. Uh, for Oliver Smith, but here's a good fight that we're looking at over uh, sixth place. It was uh, fifth place, sorry. It was Harry Higgs and William Ray. And uh, I think William did get through. Yes, he did. So William Ray passed the 45 there and into fifth place. Latter stages of this one then. Excellent comeback drive from William Ray. Uh, he was right back at, uh, at the back of the field, so very good drive to get up to fifth, but Damien will take the win for us. Yeah, Damien Barris Haggard is in great form today. Takes heat number three here in Minimax. Oliver Smith in second place. Daniel Amor in third. Callum Gosh in fourth. Uh, William Ray does finish in fifth and gets the fastest lap of the race on the last lap as well. 47.43. Harry Higgs sixth. Oliver Sander in seventh. Mike McFarquhar in eighth. Ronnie Covert in ninth. And Sasha Bagley tenth. Edward Rose eleventh. Emily Atkins twelfth. Kieran Denyer thirteenth. Leonard Summers Kelly 14th, Harrison Morrow 15th, Woody Radford in 16th, and then top novice will be Josh Cook there in the number 12 across the line.